be uh, get him to be a candidate for a double lung transplant. We think that that is most likely the possibility, a 99% chance that he would be needing that. In order to live the kind of life that I know my husband would want to live, that is a long road away, and um, a lot of things would have to line up in order for Nick to be a candidate for that. The theater star's wife, fitness guru Amanda Klutz, confirmed the tragic news in a statement shared to Instagram on Sunday, July 5th. She wrote, God has another angel in heaven now. My darling husband passed away this morning. He was surrounded in love by his family, singing and praying as he gently left this earth. I am in disbelief and hurting everywhere, Klutz shared. My heart is broken as I cannot imagine our lives without him. Nick was such a bright light. He was everyone's friend, loved to listen help and especially talk. He was an incredible actor and musician. He loved his family and loved being a father and husband. Elvis and I will miss him in everything we do, every day. Klutz then thanked her husband's medical team, writing, to Nick's extraordinary doctor, Dr. David N.G., you are my positive doctor. There are not many doctors like you. Kind, smart, compassionate, assertive and always eager to listen to my crazy ideas or call yet another doctor for me for a second opinion. You're a diamond in the rough. He spent more than 90 days in the hospital, Klutz said. He entered the emergency room on March 30th and had a succession of health setbacks, including many strokes, blood clots, septus infections, a tracheostomy and a temporary pacemaker implanted. During Cordro's hospitalization, Klutz sent him daily videos of her and their one-year-old son, Elvis, so he could see them if he woke up, and urged friends and fans to join the daily sing-along. A GoFundMe page to pay for medical expenses has raised over $600,000. Do you think he knows that his leg has been amputated? I have told him that. Oh, you told him? I did, I told him, and I told him how there's amazing prosthetics, and I told him that I've been talking to amputees and to try to give him encouragement.